everyone, welcome back to Kids Church. It's our last week on gratitude, which is letting others know you see how they've helped you. And I have to say, I am so excited that we're really close to Christmas. I just love the way how we all get together with our families and friends and sing special songs and give presents and eat great food. Oh, it's just my favorite time of year. But most important of all about Christmas is what we're remembering. We're remembering to say thank you to God for sending Jesus all those years ago. And we've been doing it now for 2,000 years. But do you know, there is a special holiday for thanking God that's been around even longer. The Jewish people have a special holiday called the Passover. And they've been celebrating that for over 3,000 years. It's a holiday for remembering how God saved them from Egypt. Let's have a look at what the very first Passover might have looked like. God has come to me again, saying, Take a lamb, and with its blood, mark the lintel and posts of every door. For tonight, I shall pass through the land of Egypt and smite all the firstborn. But when I see the blood upon your door, I will pass over you, and the plague shall not enter. You and your people have my permission to go. In the very first Passover, the last plague God sent to Egypt was the angel of death, who took the life of every firstborn son of every household. It was very sad. Before it happened, God told the Israelites to paint the blood of a lamb on their door frames. So when the angel would see this, he would pass over the Jewish households and their children would live. It's sad that this is what had to happen in order for the Egyptians to let the Israelites go. But God did an amazing thing in saving his very special people from an entire country that were doing very evil things. Considering it was a Jewish holiday, did you know that Jesus celebrated the Passover too? And during the Passover, his very last one on earth, Jesus started a very special celebration for Christians. Jesus knew he was going to die for our sins, to save us, but his friends didn't know that yet. And so while they were eating this Passover festival, he told them about the new covenant that was coming. Take and eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This is my blood, which will be poured for many. And for the forgiveness of sins. When Jesus took the bread and broke it, he said it was like his body that was being given for us. When he took the wine at the end of the meal, he said it was like his blood. Even though the disciples didn't realize yet, Jesus was talking about how he would die for our sins. He told us every time we eat and drink to remember him. That's one of the reasons we say grace. 
before we eat a meal. But to dedicate some special time to remembering Jesus' sacrifice for us, that's why we do communion. When we gather together as Jesus' family, sometimes we take some bread and we take some juice and we spend a special moment talking to God and thanking Him for the sacrifice that He made for us. You don't have to be at church to do it. You can do it anywhere, anytime, with anyone. The most important thing about the way we do communion is that we are remembering to say thank you to God. We have a habit of gratitude. 